What is good everybody? Welcome to an Epic My Damn Toys video. Today we're going to be discussing some brand new WWE Elite figures that are releasing. Yes ma'am and a lot of them are up for pre-order pre actually. I think all of them are. So if you guys want to pick up any of the figures you see in today's video or you know you're hyped for them go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS. You will save 10%. It helps out the channel. It does a lot of great things. So definitely go over there and pre-order those figures. Use MDTOYS every time you pre-order. I know there's a lot of codes out there but there's no code like MDTOYS. So let's Let's go ahead and get in here, guys. Um, today, I thought Vindication was going to be ready, but it will not be ready until tomorrow morning, which is very upsetting. I know I'm going to get a lot of comments about it, but you know what? We have to do what we have to do. So uh, Vindication 14 will be posted in the morning. Very hyped for that. And then MDT Live 14 will be on the grind. And then uh, we're going to get that up way faster than Vindication 14 was up. I know I said that, um, you know, about the highlights deal, but we, we are going to get those up way faster moving forward. So I'm very excited about that. And so... Uh, anyways, guys, let's go ahead and dive right in. I guess we can start off with, we have like four sets of series that, you know, are going up for pre-order on Ringside Collectibles. They're up right now. Again, you can go pre-order them right now, but let's go ahead and dive into the first series. Elite 72, guys. WWE Elite Series 72 is up for pre-order, and this set looks pretty banger, if you want me to be real with you. I'm very, very excited for this set. I know Elite Series 71 is still yet to release, but this, this epic set right here is nice. You got Velveteen Dream, Rey Mysterio, Buddy Murphy, Becky Lynch, Roderick Strong and Batista. So, what a lit set, guys. I'm going to be honest with you. This is a very, very, very stout set and definitely one of the best sets I think we've ever seen. I think this is up there with Elite Series 69. I think this is up there with Elite Series 64. And this is definitely one of those series that people are going to look back on and say, damn, bruh, that was, that was a freaking series right there. So, let's go ahead and get right in. Velveteen Dream, guys, I really, it shows that he's going to come with the North American Championship and then it looks like he's going to be having that attire that he wore on NXT. I think it was like that five-pack challenge or six-pack challenge when they were trying to find a number one contender to take on Johnny Gargano. I think that's the attire. And I hope it's not that attire, to be honest with you. I hope we get a different attire. But it looks like they're trying to do an attire where Velveteen Dream was the North American champion. So I guess I could see where that is. But um, I hope they don't go with that attire. I'm not a big fan of that attire. It's very Bailey slash Macho Man-esque. And I wasn't a big fan of that attire. So maybe they won't do that. But it will be cool to get back-to-back -back series with a North American championship and that's probably why they're going with that which I can understand but moving on to Rey Mysterio guys this is going to be the black and green and white render that we saw at San Diego Comic Con we also saw a prototype of this Rey Mysterio figure and I think this one's going to be a pretty good figure I like all the updated Rey Mysterios I don't like the pants Rey Mysterios you know they're it, the ones with the ball joints are fine like the one we're getting in that uh that Target exclusive set I can't remember what exactly the set has to do with but the long pants Rey Mysterio I'm not very hyped for but I love all of the Mysterios with the legs and, you know, the, the tighter tights, the more modern Rey Mysterios or the flashback WCW Rey Mysterios, those are much better in my opinion. The articulation is great. Hopefully they fix the hands on this guy. I think in the in the prototype they did have fixed hands and in the render image they had fixed hands. So maybe they'll have fixed hands here, which is a big deal. We also have Buddy Murphy who looks so good and he's going to be the Chase variant actually up for pre-order right now on Ringside Collectibles. On their website it does say, you you know, colors may vary like they did for Ziggler, so he is going to be the Chase variant. I don't know what attire they're going to be doing. I know we are getting the red version. You know, we saw in the render that it will be the red version, but the uh, the the other Chase variant, I have no idea what it could be. Maybe it's going to be WrestleMania 35, that Joker attire. I'd be very shocked if it was the Joker attire, just given copyright reasons and DC probably being like, no, Brad, you ain't releasing that figure on my watch, but we'll have to see about that. I would love to see that attire. If it's not that attire, I'd really like to see his white or attire or maybe his uh what was it the australia attire that he wore at the super showdown is that what it was you know when he won the cruiserweight championship in front of the home crowd maybe that will be his other one i'm not sure but nonetheless buddy murphy looks great and the formula they use for this guy is fantastic i can't wait for that one we also have the man becky lynch which we saw a pretty much finished prototype of this this is going to be the debut of the double jointed knees for the women's figure so this is going to be a really big deal for this becky lynch figure you guys know becky lynch is one of my favorites in the world right now for the women, so I'm I'm hyped for this. Probably one of the only elite women figures that I'm looking forward to because we get the double jointed knees, and then we get you know it's Becky Lynch. So I mean, how would I not be hyped for this? Still not big on the head scan. I'm really not feeling the head scan. Maybe they'll change it before the final product is released. But I still just uh, why can't we get a head scan like Bew made? It looks like Becky Lynch. All the other the Mattel Becky Lynches never look like Becky Lynch. I don't know what it is. I don't know why Mattel can't get that right. I I really do not. I don't know what it is. But Bew's if you guys have 
haven't seen that. Uh, his his freaking Becky Lynch custom, that's the way Becky Lynch needs to look. But moving on, guys, we have my favorite NXT talent in the world right now. We have Roderick Strong, and this one I'm super hyped for. I am going to switch out the torso because this man's ripped up. He deserves to have it showcased here. And so... <clears throat> almost threw up again. Roderick Strong in the War Games attire looks so good. I, I really am excited for this one. I hope that he's on ball joints and maybe we can do some figure surgery and maybe buy like a bunch of this and then end up making the full Undisputed Era with uh, with the uh, the War Games attire. I think that'd be really, really cool to do. Maybe, you know, just switch out some parts, do some different surgery, get some Adam Coles, Kyle O'Reilly, Bob, Bobby Fish in here. And maybe we can make everybody in that, you know, that War Games attire, the camo, and that would be really beautiful, but I am going to switch out that torso, you know, he's, he's a bit more jacked than that, and I will fix that, and then the final figure in this set, guys, is Batista, and this figure is fantastic, the WrestleMania 35 figure, I believe is what it's going to be, and we saw the render of this as well, just a great attire, I love the boots they're going with here, it looks like this is going to be, I don't know if they're going to give him the regular Batista boots, or if they're going to give him the Elite 13 Ziggler boots, which um, I'll bring up a picture on the screen of what I'm talking about. Uh, there's two different sets of boots. You have the Bobby Lashley style or the you know the Batista style from the Hall of Champions Target exclusive uh, Batista boots that we've seen. Are they going to be that in full red or are they going to be the Dolph Ziggler ones? They kind of look like they're going to be the Batista ones, but they also kind of look like those elite Dolph Ziggler boots. So we'll have to see exactly what they go with. Nonetheless, though, I'm going to switch out the knee pads and we're going to get some good surgery on this guy. He looks great, though. Updated tattoos. Just a fantastic looking figure. I cannot wait for this one definitely one of my favorite figures that I'm looking forward to. Elite Series 72, you guys, is just freaking epic sauce. I'm so excited for this set. I mean, it's it's one of those God-tier sets. But that is it for WWE Elite Series uh, 72, guys. Also, uh, we have some WrestleMania Elites up for pre-order, which this surprised me. Like, WrestleMania 36 Elites, is this usually when those release? I thought those released, like, near WrestleMania, but I guess not. I guess they release at the end of 2019 every year. I don't know. Every year, do they release at, at this time? I, I can't remember. But let's go ahead and dive right in, guys. This full set is pretty wicked. I like this set a lot. Starting off with Mick Foley from WrestleMania 22 when he took on Edge in that epic Extreme Rules match, I think it was what it was, when he got speared through the on-fire table. I think that it'd be really cool to come with like a table um, that could be set on fire or maybe just, I hope it has something to do with that matchup with Edge. I think that would be really cool. I'm really looking forward to this Cactus Jack figure slash Mick Foley. Also, he comes with the shooter hands, which is even more beautiful for his, uh, you know, his entrance. And um, I think this is a really strong figure. We also have a Matt Hardy figure from WrestleMania 34, where he won the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royal, uh, where he helped, or I think Bray Wyatt helped him win, so I think this will be cool. I'm sure he'll come with a trophy, which is fine with me. You know, we've gotten that trophy a few times in the past, so that would be um, a pretty cool accessory to have here. I'm very interested to see how they do this uh, this entrance jacket. Hopefully, it's going to be a softer material. I know they're not going to make it in cloth, but maybe they'll make it in a softer material. It looks great. I like the head scan. They are coming with delete hands. You know, he'll uh, point the finger, and you can swing out his arm for the delete, so that's pretty nice there. We also have a WrestleMania 35 Kofi Kingston when he won the WWE Championship, and somebody pointed out that uh, the, this is not how he wore his hair, and I can agree with that. I think that, um, you know, that kind of sucks that they are going to be giving us a reused head. I think that's the same head scan from the Toys R Us, you know, Bootios 3-pack, which is unfortunate, but you know what? It looks good nonetheless. I'm really excited for this figure. I think it'll look great up on the Kofi shelf, and what the one thing that I bet a lot of people aren't thinking about is those arms right there. Are they going to be molded in pink, or are they going to be molded in, you know, a darker skin tone? Because if they're molded in pink, then you could acetone the top of that off, get an extra one, and you could use those sleeves for Finn Balor Customs, uh, Jeff Hardy's, and other things. So, That'll be something to take note of if they're going to be molded in the dark skin tone or are they going to be molded in pink. I'll definitely be checking in on that and letting you guys know. But um, the other figures in this set are Booker T, which Booker T is the last figure in this set, my bad. And he looks good. I'm really excited to be getting a Booker T like this. I'm really excited to see how they do those boots down there. Are they going to be the regular Booker T boots that we've seen with the Hall, uh, the Hall of Fame figure? Or are they going to be like we saw, I think, a long time ago? I think it was like Elite Series 17. Are they going to be like that? Or are they going to be, you know, like uh, uh, the, uh, what is it, the Drew McIntyre boots? Or what they're going to do for these? I'm really excited to see what that is. Maybe we'll get a new boot mold for this. And um, I would love to see, you know, us being able to switch those 
this out for Cody Rhodes boots, being able to put those on our Cody Rhodes customs, things of that nature. That is something I'm thinking about with this figure, but it looks great. I'm really happy to be getting this version of Booker T. I think the head scan will be great. I've been wanting a Booker T from this era, so that'll be very nice to get a Booker T. I love the Trunks logo with the BT with the flames. Looks great. And he comes with not only a spinner Rooney hand, but he also comes with pointing fingers, so that's freaking sick. You know, five time is what I meant by spinner Rooney hand. But that is it for the WrestleMania 36 Elite figure set. I think it's a great set. Again, we have Elite Series 72 that looks great. The WrestleMania Elites that look great. And now we're coming into the last Elite set that we're going to talk about here today, guys. Tons of figure news that we had to get in here, but starting off, guys, WWE Elite Top Talent 2020. And you guys will see here, we have Jeff Hardy, Rey Mysterio, AJ Styles, and Seth Rollins. And this is kind of a bittersweet moment because I'm really excited that they ditched Braun Strowman for this set. You know, it used to be the last two years it's been elite top talents 2018 and 19 it was Finn Balor Braun Strowman AJ Styles and Seth Rollins and while we got rid of Braun Strowman it's going to be bittersweet because we got rid of Finn Balor so we had to get rid of Finn Balor that is very upsetting um I think that it would have been great to replace Braun Strowman with Jeff Hardy that's fine with me but replacing Finn Balor with Rey Mysterio I don't know I mean I'm, I'm happy that it'll be modern Rey Mysterios and that'll be cool because I like those figures a lot but I really would have liked to seen Finn Balor stay just because we haven't gotten a lot of his colorful attires and if they remove him from this then I don't know if we'll ever get some of those attires that Finn Balor wore and um, those make for great fantasy attires and things of that nature so that kind of sucks but it is it is kind of cool because we're going to be getting Jeff Hardy's and new face paints and things of that nature and I love the Jeff Hardy figures I actually went over with my boy Cody the other day how many different Jeff Hardy elites we've gotten and uh, now we're going to be getting even more so that's that's a good thing about Jeff Hardy but for these figures what I'm thinking for their attires is I'm thinking that Seth Rollins, guys, is going to be... Oh, yeah, one more thing. One more thing. Before we get into Seth Rollins, they're going to be replacing Braun Strowman in this set, which is so nice. Is that not nice, guys? Because we just kept getting the same figure over and over and over and over. I just had to point that out. I mean, I think you guys agree with me that it's so nice to see Braun Strowman finally replaced in this set. I think that's going to be really, really good. And that, I don't think they should release a Braun Strowman for a while, to be honest with you, but that remains to be seen. I know how Mattel loves to pump out those Braun Strowmans. But getting back into Seth Rollins' attire, guys... Uh, I know at Comic-Con they showed off the Royal Rumble 2019 Seth Rollins when he won the Rumble, and I wonder if this is going to be in a different Elite set down the line, or is this the Elite Top Talents Seth Rollins with the fist, the open hands, and the entrance hands? Um, is this going to be the Top Talents figure? If this is the Top Talents figure, that's pretty cool. I think that'll be fine. It's going to be that you know that Thanos uh, basic figure, but that he that head scan from that figure is going to be the one they use for this Top Talents figure. I'm sure that's what I'm thinking, and that is the one they use in this render except it had darker hair so hopefully that's what we get i've been waiting on a more serious seth rollins face but that has the likeness of the top talents figure from 2018 um so i'm hoping and the elite 64 so i'm hoping that that is what we get here a serious seth rollins with uh with the true effects that looks good that looks like seth and that will fit nicely into our collections but i think i'm thinking this is what the top talents will be i could be wrong it could be the wrestlemania 35 attire which i'd be okay with but that's just something to take note of. The, the image there is the Beast Slayer with the Universal Championship. And if that's the case, then it would be the WrestleMania 35 attire. But who knows? I mean, I, I'm down with both. I'm down with getting the Royal Rumble 2019 and the WrestleMania 35. That'd be fine with me. They love to pump out the sets. And I'm, I'm happy to purchase some. So that is that. I think that AJ Styles will be the Never Rest, Never Rust figure with the WrestleMania 35 attire in the gold, black, and white that he wore against Randy Orton at WrestleMania. I think that is what we'll be getting for sure for that one. Uh, for Jeff Hardy, I don't know if it'll be the gray, black, black and white face paint with the black sleeves. Um, I'd hope not just because I like to get, you know, the colorful face paints. I like to get the colorful attires in here. So hopefully that's not the one they choose, but I'll be picking it up regardless. And then for Rey Mysterio, I hope they don't go with that orange, black, and white attire. I, I, I mean, it looks fine, but I would really like to see one of his different attires, uh, more of his more colorful attires. I just don't like how Mattel always gives us, like, black attires. Like, give us some color, man. Give us some freaking bright colors that we can use in our collections. I feel like there's a ton of figures out there in, in just regular black tights. Like, I would like to see some different things or mainly black colors. I, I like the bright colors, man. Give us some more pink like Dolph Ziggler. Give us some more, you know, yellows and stuff of that nature. Some purples and bright colors is what I like to see because it, you know, it makes the figure stand out. You can do other things with it other than just, you know, the regular attire. So I think that it's pretty much, oh yeah, we still have some basics to cover, but I, I, I'm just going to run through those real quick. Not only do we have uh, elites of WrestleMania 36, guys, we have WrestleMania 36 basics 
and battle packs. I didn't get a picture of the battle packs for some stupid reason, but for the basics, we have Batista, Becky Lynch, Stephanie McMahon, Shane McMahon, Seth Rollins, and The Rock. And all of them are pretty much from WrestleMania 35, except for it looks like The Rock from WrestleMania 32, I think, or 33. I think it's 30. Yeah, it's 32 when he was the host. And then we have Stephanie McMahon. Um, which is from uh, WrestleMania 33, I think. So, or 34, WrestleMania 34. So we're getting a Becky Lynch from 35, a Batista from 35, a Seth Rollins from 35, a Shane McMahon from 35, and then a Rock from 32, and a Stephanie McMahon from 34. So that is the basic series. Nothing too crazy there, but it is something to take note of. You know, if you want a basic version of that Batista, we're going to be getting a Seth Rollins in that WrestleMania attire in the basic. So. I don't know. Lots of stuff going on, but uh, I'm I'm pretty freaking hyped for all of these figures. Again, tons and tons of stuff, guys. If you want to pick up any of this, go over to Ringside Collectibles. Use the promo code MDTOYS to save 10% and pick up some of these figures. I mean, I, mean, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, tons and tons. <coughs> I almost vomited again, but thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, Vindication 14 going to be coming tomorrow, so be super hyped for that. Going to be a great episode. We're going to find out the finals of the, uh, you know, we got Wyatt Colt versus Fashion Police in the finals of the number one contender tag team championship tournament. We also have a couple of Elimination Chamber Hell's Gate qualifiers between Samoa Joe and Shinsuke, and then AJ Styles versus Cesaro. So we're going to see what comes of that, you know, what's going to be going on with the Bullet Club and the Wyatt Colt moving forward, and just a lot lot of other questions moving in so uh, i hope you guys did enjoy the video again go pick up those pre-orders subscribe to the channel for more epic wwe figure videos be hyped for vindication tomorrow follow me on instagram and twitter at my damn toys and i'll see you guys in the next video thank you